Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome back to another game of Sky Factory 3. Let's get it going! But if you close your eyes... Alright, so I bring you guys back to a very packed, very full mob spawner. And the reason we're mob spawning is because we need a bunch of bones. Because we are going to start on chickens today. That's pretty empty. Oh, and also, this place uh, might look a little bit different to you guys. Because I've put in so much work off camera. Look at this. I mean, we got this passageway straight on over here. This will be full with machines and storage for lava and power and energy and all that kind of stuff. We also uh, moved the catch me up chest from over here. This awesome Jurassic Park entrance is just gorgeous. Over here, we're put aside around these because we're going to be having an automatic sifting system at some point set up for opening loot bags. And this will be connected straight into this with a vacuum chest and that'll send the, all the items we get right into this and then we'll sort through all that kind of stuff with a different system. So this is a new platform. And we also got the catch me up chest, which let's grab all this stuff. Let me go ahead and empty my inventory real quick into this bad boy. Alright, now you'll notice I did keep the bones and the bone meal. And that'll be because we are going to be using that to be getting a lot of seeds. And I do have a couple new items that we haven't seen yet. And some items that we are going to turn into different items. So let's go ahead and see how we're going to do this. So we'll go ahead and start off with a few of the baits. So, basically, in order to get animals spawned, into any Minecraft world, you need grass. Now grass is what spawns in animals. You need a certain amount of blocks and per chunk, I believe you can spawn in 20. But after that, animals stop spawning. Now, a mod, let's see what mod it is. It's from X Compressum. Forgive me if I'm saying that wrong, but that adds in different baits. So that way we can get certain animals. Now, of course I wanted one of each. I haven't gotten carrots yet so I don't have any pigs but I did get chicken bait sheep bait and cow bait now in order to get those it is very easy so for chicken bait we'll go ahead and get to the crafting table and I'll show you guys sort of how we're gonna make those and we'll just use the recipes over here so let's go ahead and type in bait now for chicken bait what we need to do is put two seeds right next to each other really easy makes chicken bait for cow bait what we need to do is we put two wheat right next to each other. Very easy. And then for sheep bait, what we do is we put wheat and seeds right next to each other in the crafting table. That makes sheep bait. Then we put it down on the grass. Um, each animal does need different things to spawn. Cows and chickens are the easiest. You just need grass in an area that isn't um, a desert, which I don't think you can get grass in a desert, but we are in a plains biome. So I was able to just put down the chicken bait like this. And I was able to put down the cow bait like this. And uh, I was able to spawn it in once I got out of the area. Um, and since I do have water here, I was able to place them on this block. With sheep, they needed a little bit more water. So I had to put a bucket down here. And as the water, you know, reached its eight block limit, I was able to place it down next to it. And it was able to, to grow up. And now this water source that we're using is plenty of water. So we are able to spawn if we place it close enough to that. Also... Gotta say, a uh, wheat farm going with this awesome overlay. Um, I was getting, when I was in F7 mode, I was getting some of these blocks X'd with the yellow. So I put in these. I really do like the way it turned out. I also like this. So I have this little ventilated roof. So when it's raining, we can uh, keep our, our water from overflowing, let's say. Even though it would never happen. I just like the way we have a roof over this. Um, it does rain very often in our plains biome. Don't know why, I don't know if that's common, um, but I like our bridges because these technically count as full blocks, so we never get any rain on our bridges, on any of them. Um, I'm just really happy with how everything turned out. And once we get some chisel and bits going, I mean this place will change a whole bunch again. But for the vanilla players, I just wanted to sort of do an easy start off of change, um, and I just, I love the way it turned out, it's gorgeous. Now, let's get to the skin and bones of our episode. I think I should say meat and bones, but skin and bones works fine. <laughs> so this puppy is what I've been working on a lot. 
and I just love it. I put in these stone slabs, so I think it looks really good. And basically how this is going to work is we're going to have different types of chickens. And um, say we're going to have bone meal chickens, and we're going to have flint chickens. Those are going to combine to make iron. So I do have a diagram. I'm going to pull that guy up real quick just so I can show you guys sort of what I'm talking about and make a little bit of sense. And I'll explain it and we will do it all together. So those of you who have not worked with the hatchery mod, you will know what we're doing and why and all that kind of stuff. So give me one second. I'm going to pull up that emblem and logo and we might even have it down in this corner, um, this left hand corner for the whole video. And we'll just see what happens with editing. So give me one second. I'm going to pull that guy up. All right, guys. So here's that diagram that I was talking about. And I will sort of explain it to you because it looks pretty complex. Um, so essentially, the top is the chickens you can either find in the wild or create. So we can make a white chicken, a yellow chicken, a blue, a green, a red, and a black. Um, the only ones we're going to need today are going to be the red and the white, I believe. Now... These are the elements, let's say, that you can either create or find. So you got a flint chicken, which we can create, a sand chicken, which we can create, a wood chicken, which I believe we can create, and a quartz chicken, which we have to find in the nether. The quartz chicken we might not get today. We will aim towards it at some point because we're going to need it in order to get our end goal. Now, what is our end goal? Our end goal is ender pearls. Ender pearls are 100% what we need to create because those are what we're going to be using for Ender IO and multiple other builds that we need. So let's go ahead and break this down. So in order to get an Ender pearl, we need a diamond, also another wart, which we will get to after the diamond. So for the diamond, we need to get glass and gold. In order to get gold, it's yellow and iron. In order to get iron, it is white and flint. That's really easy. In order to get yellow, we just need to create a yellow egg. Very simple. Now, let's go ahead and move on to glass. So in order to get glass, we need redstone and quartz. We already went over quartz. We're not going to be able to get today, most likely. But we will be able to get redstone. Because redstone, all we need is red and sand. Those will create today. Now, nether wart because we just went through how to get the diamond. In order to get the nether wart, what we need to do is we need to mix brown, which is cocoa bean, and glowstone. Now glowstone we can get through yellow and quartz, which once again, we're not gonna be able to get the quartz, but we will have a yellow one. But brown, I believe we can create by mating a red chicken with a green chicken? I think that's correct. I'll have to double check, but mostly what we're going to be working on today is getting the redstone chicken and getting the gold chicken, because in order to get gold, we have to get iron. That's going to be quite a bit of grind work, just in and of itself. Um, so I would say within the next episode, we will get ourselves to an ender pearl chicken. Um, I might just sit in the nether off camera in order to get the chicken. I'll show you guys the process to do it to get the quartz chicken, because it is a pain in order to get it and get it without spawning. I mean... I think they're called uh, igniting creepers or something. A, a mod adds in a crazy creeper into the nether. So in order to spawn in a chicken without having to deal with all these crazy new mobs, um, I'll show you guys the system I'm using in order to do that. Um, but otherwise, let's go ahead and cut back to the video, and I will go ahead and start on these. So let's go ahead. All right, bye. All right, so let's start off by figuring out how are we supposed to get these chickens. So as we decided, we're going to need red, we're going, oops, we're going to need sand, and we're going to need yellow. So getting yellow and red, very simple. You just bone meal. I think plain biomes do, do have roses, so we will aim to get ourselves some roses. Um, but we're going to need eight of each. Oh, there's one right there, or a poppy, which, which will give us rose red. So we're going to need eight of each because we need to surround an egg with these dyes in order to get that kind of egg. It'll, it'll make a lot more sense to you guys um, in a second. So I'm just going to go ahead and get um, all of us a nice red and a yellow. And we'll cut back to you guys as soon as I have eight and we're good enough to go. So, all right. See you guys. All right. So I'm bringing you guys back because I'm going to start crafting some stuff that's a little bit new. 
So, the first thing we're gonna make is we're gonna make a nest, I believe it is. Egg nest, okay. So we're gonna make four of those because the uh, area, I believe it has three or four, it might just have three, but that's okay, we'll have an extra. So, with this, we'll be able to put eggs in it and it'll have a hatch of 100% rate. So you can throw eggs just like um, regular eggs and they have the same percentage of hatching. If you do put an egg in this though, it will have a 100% success rate. Uh, as far as I know. So, this will take a long time for stuff to hatch out of it. The only way to speed it up is if we make a redstone lantern above it, which I don't know that we're going to do, because after the first couple eggs are hatched, we really don't need to worry that much about speed or anything like that, because we'll be hatching eggs out of other eggs. Out of other chickens, excuse me. Now, here's the eggs that we can create that we're going to need to start off with. So, we're going to make a bone meal chicken. We're going to make a red chicken. We're going to make a yellow chicken. And we are going to make a flint chicken and a sand chicken. Now, the reason we're going to do this, obviously, is because sand and red makes redstone. Bone meal and flint makes iron. Yellow and iron makes gold. All that diagram that I showed you guys before. So... We're going to start off with redstone chicken. That's the guy we're going to work towards first off. So we're going to need a sand chicken, and we're also going to need a red chicken. Now the cool thing about these chickens is instead of dropping just eggs, um, I don't think they drop any eggs, but they drop the item that you create. So a red chicken will drop red dye, a sand chicken will drop sand, and then once we have a redstone chicken, obviously it will drop redstone, which is really lucrative for most of our machines and you know basic startup stuff. Yellow will drop yellow, iron will drop iron, and, you know, so on and so forth. So, this is going to be an awesome start for us. Uh, we're just going to make one of each chicken that I had set up, just so we can start getting our farms going. Uh, we're definitely going to get the red and the sand hatched first, just because I really want redstone chicken started, so I can start doing some machines and stuff with you guys, um, outside of the Ender I.O. that we need. Um, I also would like to get started on the nether. And the nether we don't really need any items for, um, just lava which we have, so that'll be an easy start as well. So, let's go ahead and do this the most easiest way. So the way I have this set up is, we're gonna have a chicken in here, and a chicken in here. Now I don't want them to get all mixed up, so I'm going to have this be the mating pen, right? So it's like in between, I can breed this guy and this guy if I have 50 chickens. When I open these doors, just these two chickens will run to each other. And then I can close these doors, whatever chicken they have, um, there is a percentage. So if I have, for instance, redstone, um, or let's say a flint chicken. If I have a flint chicken and a bone meal chicken trying to create an iron, there's a higher chance that they're just going to make one or the other. So there's a higher chance that they'll make just another bone chicken or just another flint chicken. Um, but what I am aiming for... Oh, wow. So some chickens have a 100% chance either way. So for instance, the flint chicken, which we're going to put mm, probably here. The flint chicken, and I think the sand chicken as well, has a 100% chance. Um, I ought to double check. Yep, so the sand chicken and the flint chicken have a 100% rate of uh, spawning. So you don't really need to worry about those two with the nest. However, the other chickens, such as the yellow, the red, and the white, those ones do have a percentage. So instead of throwing them down, I am going to toss them into a nest. And they have a timer on them, and the only way to speed this timer up is to do... Um, a redstone over top, but that's okay. We'll worry about that later. So the way we're going to have this set up is we're going to have a red chicken and a sand chicken. And then out of those, we're going to put all of our redstone chickens into here. And I have a bigger pen because I am going to be breeding them like crazy because I'm going to want a lot of redstone for all kinds of different builds and stuff like that. So they have a bigger pen. Then I'm going to have it set up as a gravel or I'm sorry, a flint chicken as we have here and a sand chicken. And out of those two, we're actually going to take him. And he's going to go into here. Oops. He's going to go into here because we're going to have red and sand. So, out of here, we're going to have a flint chicken and a white chicken. And those will create an iron chicken, which will go into here. 
Now, iron chicken, we're going to need to breed with the pen behind it, which will be a yellow chicken. And out of those, eventually we will get a gold chicken, which will go into this guy. And that'll get us as far as we can get without a quartz chicken, which will be here. Um, and obviously we will expand this if we need to, because we're going to have quite a bit of chickens. But I want to keep it organized. I do like keeping my chickens separate. I don't know why. It's because of my OCD. But I also liked the build, the way I was able to do this cobblestone slabs with it. I think it just looks gorgeous. Um, I really do enjoy it. So I'm going to go ahead and let these guys incubate. And uh, once they're done incubating, uh, I might just do some, you know, some easy work here and there. Once they're done incubating, we're going to go ahead and start breeding. And you guys will see, I mean, sort of the turnover rate's not very high. But once you get one of those redstone chickens or one of those iron chickens or, you know what I mean, it's easy to start off because then that iron chicken starts breeding with the yellow chicken. And I have a chance of getting an, an iron chicken. So then I don't need to be breeding these two so much anymore because my iron chicken and my yellow chicken are going to be creating a lot more iron chickens before we get a gold chicken. Um, so I'm going to get a bunch of iron chickens. I'm going to get a bunch of redstone chickens. Um, and once I have two of them, I can breed them together just like regular chickens. So, and that'll start giving us higher numbers. So, for instance, like this guy, he's a 1111. That's the lowest you can get. Um, this is very much like the, the plant mod. I can't remember what it's called. But bas basically, if you do a 1111 together and a 1111 bred together, you'll get a higher tier, which it'll be a 2222 or a 2322, all that kind of stuff. And you sort of breed them as high as you can. You get the 2 and the 3, and the 3 and the 4, and the 4 and the 5, and the 5 and the 6. And you just keep breeding all the way up until they're 10s. Then they get a higher drop rate, a higher breed rate, all that kind of stuff. Now, you do also have growth. So this guy, you can see, he's got a growth of 16 minutes. And I can feed him seeds just to go ahead and speed that up, uh, which I'm doing right now, because I want him to be grown as fast as possible. Now he's gonna grow up in 47 seconds. Now I wish I could do that with cooldown rate when they're breeding, but the only way to speed up a cooldown rate with breeding is to um, get the tiers up. So the growth tier, um, I think the strength tier as well, um, helps you. And that top one, sand chickens will always be a tier one because sand chickens are ones you can start off with, like I was talking about. However, an iron chicken will be a tier two, a redstone chicken will be a tier two and, and so on and so forth a gold will be a tier three because it's iron and yellow um so tiers don't really change by breeding but they do change with the uh, expense of the chicken itself so i'm gonna bring you guys back in just a second as soon as these guys are hatched and we're gonna go ahead and start working with some hatchery start getting some awesome items and then we're gonna start doing machines as soon as possible so i'll bring you guys back in just a second let's do this all right, now, and if you guys are going to be wondering how I got these seeds, um, I don't know if this is a vanilla thing that they added, because um, I haven't played vanilla since 1.8, which is, I mean, ages ago. Um, so if you right-click a fully grown, it harvests it and gives you the extras, but it doesn't take it. So basically, you don't have to replant. It might be a mod. It might be in Minecraft. Um, but instead of doing it on all of them, I'm just standing over one and holding right click with the uh, bone meal and it'll just run through and give me all the seeds, all the wheat that I can get. Um, so that's how I'm going to be doing it just to get a bunch of seeds because we're going to need a bunch for this hatchery mod. Um, let's see how close we are. We got to be getting close now. Like, come on. 77, 85, 84. Huh. This is still taking a while. I've been able to get quite a bit of uh, seeds, quite a bit of bread. Um, oh, corn. So corn takes forever to grow. Um, I thought it was a waste of a plant, but now that I've got it grown, it's cool because um, each section grows, I believe they all grow corn. Um, so this section will mature into corn, this will mature into corn. So once you have a bunch of them, you're going to be just knocking out corn like crazy. Um, we'll probably fill this whole thing in with corn at some point, um, but for right now we're just going to be munching down on some bread. I was getting pretty sick of those apples. Um, you can only eat so many apples before it gets old, you know. <laughs> so we did move on to bread. I am going to need a bunch of bone meal, so I'm just going to be milking this guy for uh, some bones from skeletons. I'm going to be waiting on those eggs to hatch, and as soon as those eggs hatch, we are just going to breed them up and get as many of the, um, you know, upgraded types of chickens that we can so we're going to be working towards i mean iron redstone are the number ones and hopefully gold today too 
Um, and then I'll probably create another portal also off um, off screen. The way I'm going to do that is obviously from last episode, we do have our crucibles going. Um, so I'm just going to be pulling lava out of these. And I'm just going to make another portal right here with water and uh, cobbles. Or I'm sorry, water and lava to make obsidian. So that's probably what I'm going to be doing uh, to get the quartz. I will bring you guys back in the next episode for that um, quartz chicken just build on how to got one. But I'm probably not going to keep you guys there the whole time I'm trying to wait for one. Because like I said, it can be a pretty timey thing to uh, get the correct timing on a chicken. Because the way it spawns in the nether just is way out of whack. It checks height and, you know, areas and um, not seeds, but uh, chunks. So it does uh, check those. Oh, we got ourselves a little chicken. Let's grab him. So him, he's actually probably the most le least useful. Because... Uh, we are going to have to wait in order to get... Oh, another loot bag. I really hope we got an Ender Pearl. But we're going to have to wait in order to use him because obviously um, we're going to need him for the Iron Chicken um, to make gold. Oh, red. Sweet. So this guy is very useful. He is going to be working with our Sand Chicken who dropped us a little piece of sand. And he's going to be giving us a Redstone Chicken. So let's go ahead and... Um, whoops. Oh, don't... Uh, <laughs> got him. Alright, so let's go ahead and grow him up real quick. Dang, he wants to run away. So let's go ahead and grow him up with some seeds, and then we're going to breed him and the sand chicken, and we're probably going to get a sand chicken or a red chicken um, out of it, but there is a chance we'll get a redstone chicken, um, and we'll just keep breeding them until we do get a redstone chicken, um, and we'll probably keep breeding them until we get two, and once we get two, we'll just breed those two redstone chickens and start upgrading to higher tiered chickens, um, because you can only grow through those tiers with the same type of chicken. Um, oh, that's pretty interesting. Nether warts, nice. I wish I could make a nether wart chicken, but I can't, um, unfortunately. We have to uh, grow up into those. So, he's about ready. So let's go ahead and test out our little breeding ground real quick. Actually, let's bring them both in here. Come on. Come on, chickens. Oh, yeah. All right. So this is going to be the breeding area in between the two, which I I really like this design. I think it keeps everything clean. It's nice. It's easy. Um, come on. Give me a redstone chicken. That would be so lucky right now. Oh, man. It's just a regular red chicken. That's okay. Um, so we'll just keep breeding them until we get ourselves a uh, redstone chicken, or two of them at least. And um, hopefully we can get an iron chicken going as well, because we just got our first bone meal chicken. Look at how cool he is. He's bone. That's so cool. All right. So let's go ahead and try and grow him up as well. Dun, 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 dun. Come on, let's get you down to a, a couple, you know. All right, that's good. Under a minute's good. Um, you dropped me some flint. Now, eventually we will set up a vacuum chest down here, probably two, one here and one over here. Um, and that will be just so that we can collect all the items you guys are dropping. I know there are hatchery mod items that collect it for you. Um, but we're not actually too interested in that, um, unfortunately. We are only interested in, uh, we just want to send them straight into our chest. Which we'll use, um, conduits and stuff like that. And a, a chest, a vacuum chest in order to uh, send it to this guy. So... Um, I thought there was one more chicken I needed, but I guess not, um, because we got red, sand, flint, and that. Yeah, I think we're good. Everybody is, uh, is hatched because those first two were 100%, so we didn't have to worry about, you know, waiting through the time for them. Um, so what I'm probably gonna do is, um, I'm probably gonna wait until I get one of the upgraded chickens out of these guys. When I come back, I'll probably have a bunch of red chickens and a bunch of sand chickens and a bunch of uh, flint chickens and a bunch of bone chickens um, before I get an iron chicken or a redstone chicken. So I'll bring you guys back as soon as I'm back. I'm sorry about all the cuts in this episode. I just didn't imagine you really wanted to sit through. Um, while I am waiting, I will talk to you guys real quick. So updates on not just the channel, but um, a couple of other things. So. I am going to be having new parts for my computer coming in. So for those of you who don't check my description, um, I'm going to be having, uh, right now I'm running on a HP um, Z620, which is a pretty powerful computer. Um, for those of you who knows computers, it can run up to 96 gigabytes of RAM, which is 
I mean, never necessary. Um, it's basically built for running virtual machines, and um, this is a computer that's really popular as a workstation for uh, 3D printing and 3D editing and that kind of stuff for um, x-rays. It's used a lot in hospitals. Um, however, it is a monster of a computer. Right now, I'm running 8 gigabytes. If you look at my description, I am running 8 gigabytes, which is just weak. Um, I mean, super weak. Not good. That's why I'm getting a little bit of lag spikes here and there. I did order in um, 32 gigs of RAM, which is, I mean, a huge step up. That's probably all I need for a long time. So I'm going to be running 32 gigs of RAM, um, which is incredible. I mean, I was able to get it for a really good price. It's DDR3 RAM, 1600 megahertz. Um, for those of you guys who know, other ones probably don't care. Um, <laughs> but it is a, a very good step up from where we're at now. Um, I'm also going to be ordering a new CPU, and I'm waiting on that guy to come in. They should both be in by next week. And uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that. That will be awesome. Just because um, we'll be able to be running better, a lot smoother. Zero lag. I mean, we're going to be a whole world better because I'm getting an upgraded CPU, I'm getting an upgraded RAM, so that'll be awesome. Once I do get those in, I, that's probably when I'll start doing my, um, I mean, my servers and my all that kind of stuff just to sort of help people on Linux and on regular Windows and that kind of stuff who's kind of getting interested in IT. Um, around that time is when I'll start recording those videos. Um, and I don't imagine those will take over much time. They'll be quick, 15-minute, 20-minute episodes. Um, we'll probably start off with, you know, how to install Ubuntu, all those simple things. How to install Ubuntu, how to install Fedora, CentOS. And I'll probably do a couple different um, things on all those different operating systems. So you guys will be able to um, run whatever system you want, sort of understand why it's running the way it's running. Um, which will be awesome. And then eventually we will start on a Beto Serra project as well, like I was talking about. Um, but at this point, I'm just going to be doing Minecraft and a little bit of uh, Fedora and IT and that kind of stuff that'll help out a couple people. Um, if they have any questions, they'll be able to say, hey, what do I do here? Um, I'm just excited to get into that stuff because it'll really, um, I mean, help me. I learn a lot easier if I'm teaching someone. And that's for everything, for computers, for math. If I'm teaching someone on a product or on a uh, anything they need to grasp, I learn a lot quicker too. So that'll help me out. It'll help you guys out, and we will uh, we'll just work together on all kinds of different stuff. I will still be doing this kind of stuff as well. Um, but before I dive into a regular feed the beast or tech it or you know any of that kind of stuff, I really do need to get an upgraded computer because I'm only running on eight gigs. Um, Sky Factory. See, there's a lag spike right there. That will be gone by next week. Maybe one or two more episodes. Um, and I'm super excited for that kind of stuff. But um, before I can do uh, any other things, like I was saying, Sky Factory is, I mean, you can run it on four gigs of RAM. I'm running it on, uh, on, on six dedicated to Sky Factory, and I'm still getting some lag spikes because I'm running, I mean, my recorder, I'm running my audio recorder, um, all that kind of stuff in the background. Um, but I am dedicating six straight to the game, which it's using, um, but I'm going to be able to dedicate 16 to my games, which is awesome, 16 to my operating system, which I will not need. Um, so if I do get into a heavier video game, you know, a heavier um, Minecraft mod, Feed the Beast mod, anything like that, anything like that, I will be able to do um, 20 gigs here you know, 25 gigs here, and I'll still be running an amazing on my operating system. So I'm pumped for those parts to come in. Um, if you guys have any ideas or, you know, if you want to know what parts I got for my computer or a link to get my computer, if you guys want to build it, um, it is a pretty pricey computer. So I was lucky with how I got my computer. Um, it's, it's about $1,200 to $1,600 for the computer I'm running on. And uh, I did not buy that. Um, like I said... I mean, I'm 21, got a kid and a wife. I could not blow that much on um, my computer. I mean, that's that's probably more than my car costs at the moment. <laughs> um, I mean, I bought my car for a little bit more than that, but that is a pretty pricey computer. Um, and I was able to put $140 into the parts. I was able to get the RAM for it. I was able to get the CPU all in that price range. Um, 
which is incredible. I got an amazing deal from uh, some guys on eBay that were really helpful. I told them the situation. I won some bids, that kind of stuff, to get the parts that I really wanted. Um, so I did luck out a lot because usually the parts that I got would cost around 500 bucks to... Um, Maybe a little bit more. Oh, we got an iron chicken. We got an iron chicken. Oh my gosh, we're so lucky. Check it out. Um, that's awesome. So we don't actually need to breed these guys anymore because what we are going to be doing is... Uh, let's go ahead and put you in the right pen, buddy. We are going to be breeding our iron chicken with our yellow chicken, which will give us, um, I mean, a lot more iron chickens out of it. Um... Because our yellow chicken and our iron chicken will obviously make a gold chicken, which is what we're aiming towards next. Um, and I just love the textures they chose for these chickens. I mean, the bone chicken's tight. The iron chicken has sort of like an iron golem feel to it, which I think is just awesome. Look at how cute he is. Um, so that's going to be awesome. We're going to be able to... We already got to step up. That means um, we're going to be getting our redstone chicken hopefully any second. Um, so anyway, back to what I was talking about. Um, so we are going to be running a lot more powerful computer, which is just so much better. Um, I'm so excited for it. Dang it. Um, I mean, we lucked out with the iron chicken. We couldn't get the redstone chicken right after. Um, but yes, so hopefully I'll be able to produce a lot better quality videos, a lot better, I mean, not just sounding, but visually and smoother running, higher quality, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm super excited about that. However... Um, for now, we are running on a pretty long episode. I'm just going to keep breeding these guys. You saw how it's just a random chance that I got this iron chicken. I'm just going to keep breeding these guys and these guys. I'm going to get us a quartz chicken. And um, I will bring you guys back in the next episode. Thank you so much for joining me. I had such a blast. I hope you guys love the new renovations with the fences and the cobblestone walls and the bridges I added. I think it's just looking so much better. So... Until next time, guys, we're going to get ourselves some better chickens. Um, but until next time, like I say, I'm just so excited. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Okay, guys, so we just totally lucked out because the first time I bred my, ch my iron and my yellow chicken, we got a gold chicken. So we are just chugging along perfect speed. Um... I'm going to go ahead and throw him in his new pen, but I, before I left for the final time, I really just wanted to throw this in here because I did not think that was going to happen. I thought I was going to be here for a while trying to get all the chickens we needed, but um, we're actually coming pretty quick, so I might have to start um, making some obsidian and uh, get us another quartz chicken pretty quick. So that's so awesome. All right. See you guys.